Everyone's homework? Did you? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Next topic. Can I teach you? Yeah. Great. Solving linear equations. There's three words in there that are really important. Solving. What does solving mean? Once you've woken up? Yes. Find an answer to something. Find an answer to something. What kind of answer? So that is kind of correct. What are we looking for? So in all of these things, is there an unknown quantity? Yes. Working what out? Working what out? Solution, yes. Solution. What is the solution? No. Yep. X. Yep. We need to find the value of the unknown in these equations. Can you see that there is one pronumeral in every equation which we don't know the value of? Is that right? Yes. Yes? So we need to find the value of x. Now, will x be the same in all of these equations? No. No. So what kind of value are we after? Just any value we like? No. No. So to solve an equation means to find the value of the unknown for which left hand side of the equation is equal to the right hand side. Is that clear? So we need to find the value of x in this equation such that, laptop's down please, screen's down, thank you. If we times that by 4 and then add 5, what should it equal? 29. So we need to find the value of the unknown for which the right hand side of the equation is equal to the left hand side. Do we now know what solving means? Yes? Yes. Okay, now, what does the word linear mean? Okay, let's talk about equations first. Are these all equations? Yes. Yes. What makes them an equation? Yeah. Equal sign. Equal sign. Do they all have an equal sign? Yes. Yes. yes, so they're all equations. Because one side is equal to the other, you can find the value of x in this case. So it, they are all equations. What makes them linear equations? No idea? Take a guess. Yes. Can't hear you. They are all? I can't hear you properly. They yes. all move to the right, like in ways of working out. No. They represent a pattern. What kind of pattern? If I sketch them, do you know how to sketch graphs? If I sketch them, what shape do you reckon I'll get? A line. A straight line, yes. But what may, how do we know they'll get us? Can we see that there's an unknown? Yes. What's the highest power of the unknown? What's x to the power of here? 1. Isn't the power of x 1? Is there an x squared term here? No. Is there an x cubed term here? No. Highest power of x is 1. That makes it a linear equation. Is that clear? So these are all equations because they have an equal sign. They're all linear. Eyes on the board. They're all linear because the highest power of x is 1. And we're solving it. That means... We put our laptop screens down, I'm telling this for the last time, and that means we need to find the value of the unknown. Do we know what we're doing now? Okay, now, so our aim is to find the value of x. So we need x on one side, we need to move everything else to the other side. So in other words, we need to get rid of the 5 here first. Now, this 5 has been added or multiplied or divided to the 4x term, what has been done? Added. added. What's the inverse operation of adding? What's the opposite of adding 5? Subtracting 5. So if, if I take away 5 from this side, 5 take away 5 will be 0. zero. Won't you get rid of 5? Yeah. However, you can't just do that to an equation. These two sides are equal. So if you take away 5 from this side, don't you take away 5 from the other side as well? So yes. they're still equal? Yes. So whatever you do to left hand side, you must do to the right hand side. Is that clear? And the aim is to get the unknown by itself. So we needed to get rid of the plus 5. Opposite of adding 5 is taking away 5. Now see what happens. Now, the second step is equal, like is implying, uh, this step implies the second. I don't want two equal sign in an equation. Does anyone know what do I need to put here? No idea? Okay, this sign and equals with an arrow is called this implies. That means because of the first step, the second step follows. Okay, so please develop the habit of writing it. Now, what are you left with in this line? 4x, 5 take away 5 is? 0. zero. 29 take away 5 is? Zero. Happy? Yes. So we got rid of the 5. But we still don't have x by itself. What is 4 doing to the x? 4x is 4 times x. 
So how do we get rid of times? What's opposite of times in? Divide. Dividing. So can I divide this by 4? But because the two sides are equal, if I'm dividing this by 4, I must divide the right hand side by 4 as well. This implies 4 divided by 4 is 1. X equals 6. Do we have X? Yes. So that was the whole point of doing opposite operations. Whatever you do to one side, you must do to the other. And your aim is to get X by itself. Are we happy? Good. Next one. Now, we've got x was multiplied by 2, divided by 5, and then 1 was taken away. Right? What would you get rid of first and why? Will you divide it by 2 first? Will you multiply both sides by 5? Or would you add 1? Exactly. Because 1 was, if I take do this, don't you get rid of that? 1 minus 1 is 0? Yes. Is the whole thing divided by 5? No. So you can't times by 5 yet. Is the whole left hand side multiplied by 2? No. So you can't multiply, uh, divide by 2 yet. So the first thing you'll get rid of is 1. Because the 1 was minus, what's opposite of minusing? Plus. Adding. So plus 1 on this side and therefore the same must be done here. This implies, what are we left with? 2x over 5. 1 take away 1 is 0. 3 plus 1 is 4. Now what do I do next? But 5 is being divided. What's the opposite of division? Multiplication. So see, 5 is in the bottom. So if I times the tops by 5, will that get rid of the 5? Yes. 2x equals 20. Now 2 is being multiplied. What's opposite of multiplying? Dividing. What do I get? x equals 1. 10. Make sense? So this is how we solve an equation. This one now. Do we get rid of the 3 first or 2? Can I minus 3? Okay, let's see what happens if I try minus 3. It's a fraction. Can I get rid of the 3? No. Is the 2 dividing the whole right, left hand side? So can I times the whole left hand side by 2? Yes. yes. So times the tops by 2. Can you get rid of it? Yes. yes. So what do you get? X plus 3 equals, what's 4 times 2? 8. Eight. Now plus 3, what's opposite of plus 3? Minus 3. What's 8 take away 3? 5. 5. That's it. Do we get that? Yes? yes? yes. Now. Last one. What do we get rid of first? The 4, the 3 or the 7? Seven? 7. 7. Because is 3 dividing the whole left hand side? No. no. Is negative 4 all by itself? No. Is 7 by itself? Yes. yes. 7 is plus 7. What's the opposite of plus 7? Minus 7. Do I just minus 7 one side? No. No, no it's the same. Both sides. What do I get? This thing remains as it is. 7 take away 7 is? Zero. 9 take away 7 is? Two, now, is 3 dividing the whole left hand side? Yes. Can I get rid of it? Yes. What will I do? Exactly. Times one side or both sides? Both. You guys are clever. What's 3 times 2? 6. How do I get rid of the negative 4? Yes. How? Add 4. One side? Both sides. 6 plus 4 is? So we have done linear equations. We've solved them. Solving means find the value of the unknown for which left hand side is equal to right hand side. And we can check it. Let's check in this equation. So the left hand side is 4x plus 5. And the right hand side is 29. And what's our answer? Six. Let's sub x equals 6. So 4 times 6 plus 5. Let's follow board mass. 4 times 6 is? 24. What's 24 plus 5? 29. Is that equal to right hand side? Yes. That means our answer is correct. So that's what solving means. Finding the value of the unknown for which the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. All equations must have an equal sign. That's what they call equation, where one side is equal to the other.
Any questions? All right, let's get our work done.